Welcome back to the Star Lab. Today we'll be taking a look at one of my personal favorites. I hope the information that follows will help you understand why that is. The YT-2400 light freighter is a Corellian transport similar to the famous YT-1300. Like all YT series craft, the 2400 is highly modular and customizable. At 18.6 meters in length and 28.5 meters in width, the 2400 is a very wide disc-shaped craft. This basic shape gives its interior a relatively spacious and comfortable feeling for humanoid crew members. With a top atmospheric speed of 800 kilometers per hour, the 2400 is equally as fast as the 1300. A stock class 2.0 hyperdrive gives the craft an average speed for hyperspace travel, while a redundant class 12 hyperdrive helps to ensure the vessel will not be easily stranded in space. Its hull is incredibly well protected, with a shield generator providing 248 SPD of shielding, five times greater than that of an X-Wing starfighter, and a quarter that of a Nebulon B-class frigate. The 2400's hull is thickly plated in the sections where the armor has not been removed for modifications, varying in strength but generally rated at around 102 RU, more than 10 times thicker than the armor on a TIE fighter. The transport requires only a single pilot and uses a crew of three for optimal performance. The transport's living quarters can comfortably hold up to six passengers. Two escape pods are fitted into the rear of the cockpit and the far left side of the central hull for easy access in the case of an emergency. As the 2400 lacks the mandibles present on the 1300, it primarily relies on its internal hold for carrying cargo. The cargo hold is capable of carrying up to 150 tons of goods, a modest amount for a vessel of its size. Onboard stores can hold up to two months of rations and water for eight humanoids. A brand new YT-2400 could set a buyer back 130,000 credits, while a used model may only cost 32,000 credits. Making it an excellent deal if the model is properly outfitted with the right customizations. The best known example of the YT-2400 was the Outrider, owned and operated by Captain Dash Rendar with his co-pilot Lebo, an LE-class repair droid. The Outrider was heavily modified and equipped with a pair of dual heavy laser cannons and two concussion missile launchers, each loaded with three missiles. The turrets on the Outrider were linked to the cockpit, allowing the turrets to be operated remotely during battle with a single crew member acting as both the pilot and the gunner. The Outrider had an extensive record in the hands of Captain Rendar until three years after the Battle of Yavin, when the Outrider was lost during the Battle of Faelin's Fist. While the remains of the ship and the bodies of its crew were never recovered, it is presumed the vessel was destroyed during that conflict. Remember, while the YT-2400 might be a bit ugly, it is remarkably powerful and more than capable of taking out a cocky starfighter pilot with its stock cannons, let alone any upgrades it may have. That was it for the 2400. I hope this was informative. Catch you guys later.